Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithu. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to recode a variable in SPSS. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to recode a variable in SPSS, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let me begin by introducing you to the data set that I'll be working on. This is a very simple data set, which is called as the employee data set. I have picked up this data set in the SPSS folders, sample files that is present by default. There are two columns in this particular data set. The first one is employee ID. The second one is gender. For the purpose of simplicity, I'm just taking 10 employee IDs. You can see here the gender of each and every employee. The first person is a male. The second person is a male. The third person is a female. If you want to see the description of any value, there's an icon here, which is called as the value labels icon. You can go ahead and click on the value labels icon. The moment you click on the value labels icon, SPSS puts a label on each and every cell. You can see here, this is the label or the description of each and every cell value. M represents males and F represents females. If you click on this once again, SPSS will display the original coding for males and females. There's one other way in which you can check the code of each and every variable. How do we do this? You can click on the variable view. In the variable view, you can see here the variable properties are given. The second row here represents gender. Let me scroll to the right side. You can see a column heading which says values. The second cell here will give you the value labels. If you want to see this in detail, you can click on the end of the cell. I repeat, you can just click on the end of the cell. This will display a dialog box, which is called as the value labels dialog box. You can see here, there are two options. The first is value and the second one is label. In this data set, the existing value is F and the label for F is female. The second value is M and the label for M is males. Let me click on the option cancel. Go back to data view. Now, many of the analysis, many of the options in SPSS will not be highlighted unless you convert a string data into numeric variable. I repeat, unless you convert string to numeric, there are many features which, which will not be highlighted. When you look at the existing data type of gender, it is a string data type. When I hover the mouse on top of gender, you can see here SPSS displays that the type of this particular variable is string. Question is, how do I convert a string data type into a numeric data type? I repeat, how do we convert a string data type into numeric data type? This is where recoding a variable comes into picture. In SPSS, there are three ways in which you can recode a variable. I repeat, there are three different ways in which you can recode a variable. The first option is to recode in the same variable. The second option is to recode and create a new variable. The third option is to use automatic recode. Let us examine this one by one. To perform the recoding into same variable, let me draw your attention to the transform menu. You can see here, the fifth option from the left is what is called as the transform menu. When you click on the transform menu, what SPSS does is it gives you all the options that are present in the transform menu bar. I'd like to draw your attention to three important options recode into same variables. Second is recode into different variables. And the third option here is automatic recode. As the name itself suggests, 
recode into same variables will recode and make the changes in the existing variables itself. The problem with this particular option is that the old values will be lost and you will not be able to retrieve the old values. The second option here is recoding into different variables. And I would always suggest you use this particular option because this will create a new variable with the new values of your choice. The third option here is automatic recode in which SPSS automatically gives you the codes that it is going to assign. So if you have a variable with let's say 28 different values, then you can use automatic recode because manually recoding 28 values is a very, very tedious and a time consuming process. Let me begin by showing the first option, which is recoding into same variables. I repeat, recoding into same variables. In the transform menu, this is the fifth option from the top. Let me go ahead and click on this particular option. The moment I click on this particular option, what you observe is that a new dialog box opens up. The name of this dialog box is recode into same variables. In the left hand side, you see two variables, namely employee code and gender. In the right hand side, you see a box wherein I can select the variables. I'll choose the variable gender and push it in the variables list. You can see here, SPSS has recognized this as a string variable. Below this box, you see an option which is called as old and new values. You can click on this particular button which says old and new values. The moment I click on the old and new values button, you can see there's a new dialog box which opens up. The name of this dialog box is old and new values. There are a whole lot of things that you can do in this particular dialog box. To the left hand side, you can see here, there's a short description that is given in blue color. It says old value. Here you can specify the old value for the variable gender. Let's begin with females. Females were coded as F. In the right hand side, you can specify the new value of your choice. Earlier, it was coded as F. The new value that I'll be specifying is zero. You can see here in the left hand side, you can specify the old values. And in the right hand side, you can specify the new value as zero. Once you do this, the next thing that you need to do is click on the add button here. You can see here. SPSS now indicates that all the old values which were earlier coded as F for females will be recoded as zero. I can come back to the values button in the left hand side. Now I will type males. I can just use the value rather than the label here. You can see the males were coded as M the new value that I will be assigning for males would be one. So earlier we had M. Now we will be recoding this as one. Once you have specified the new value, you can click on the add button. Suppose you had a variable like state. You wanted to recode variables into new values. Let's say Delhi, you wanted to assign the code as one. Let's say Karnataka as two, Maharashtra as three, so on and so forth. You can follow the same procedure. The earlier code value you have to specify to the left hand side and the new code value which you want SPSS to consider can be specified in the right hand side. Once you do this, the next thing that you need to do is simply click on the continue button. Once you press the continue button, SPSS takes you back to the original dialog box that is recode into same variables. You can observe what is the values for gender. Once again, at the background, if you click on value labels, SPSS is displaying M and F. 
Now, what I'll do is I'll click on OK. This is the output window. You will not be able to see any of the changes in the output window. To see the changes, you'll have to go back to SPSS data editor window. So what you're able to see now is wherever F was there, it's been coded as zero. In fact, the third person was a female. So she's been coded as zero. The fourth person is being coded as zero as well. And for males, a new code that is one has been assigned. So this is how the new, the new codes will be displayed. So right now you have one and zero where earlier you had M and F respectively. So this is one way in which you can recode a variable. Let me now proceed to demonstrate the second way of recoding a variable. The second approach to recoding a variable would be to go to the SPSS icon. Here, I will be showing you the same, I'll be using the same data set, but a different option. I have got the 10 employees here. You can see here, employee one all the way up to employee 10, the same variable gender. The current coding is M. Males are coded as M and the females are coded as F. I'm going to now create a new variable wherein I'm going to assign the code of one for males and zero for females. But I will be able to retain the old values as well as see for myself the new values. How do I do this? I can go to the transform menu. We earlier saw record into same variables. Now I will be showing you recording into different variables. In the left hand side, SPSS lists the variables. The first variable is employee code. The second variable is gender. Let me select the variable gender as the input variable. The new variable name that I will be giving is gender one. Once you specify the new variable name, you'll have to click on the option change. You can see here, the old variable name is gender. The new variable name is gender one. Below this particular box, there is a button which is called as old and new values. I repeat, there is a button which is called as old and new values. Let me go ahead and click on this particular button, old and new values. This will open up a new dialog box, which is called as old and new values. In the left hand side, under the old value section, I can specify the value for females, which was earlier given as F. The new value is zero. So wherever F is there, SPSS will record this as zero. Let me go ahead and click on the add button here. Further, wherever M is there, I will be giving a new code as one. Earlier, M would be present. The new value will be one. Let me click on add. Now you're able to see F will be recorded as zero. M will be recorded as one. Once you do this, you can go ahead and choose the continue button. With these changes, you can click on the OK button. You are able to clearly see in this case, SPSS has created the third variable. It has not disturbed the original variable in any way. You can clearly see earlier the coding for males was M. The new coding now is one. Second person is a male. Now it is being coded as one. The third person is a female. The value that we are assigning is zero. Fourth person is a female. Again, the value that is assigned here is zero. Also observe next to the variable gender, there is an icon here with three circles and letter A being displayed. Whenever the alphabetical letter A is displayed, it means that SPSS considers this as a string variable. 
also observe the new variable that we have been able to create, gender one. It is just showing three circles. There is no letter A, which means that this is the icon for a numeric data type. This icon represents numeric data type. So I've shown you two different approaches to recoding. One is recoding in the same variable. The second is to recode in a new variable. Now, let me move on to the third way of recoding, which is to use the automatic recode option. As the name itself suggests, when you use the automatic recode option, SPSS automatically recodes the old values into new values. How do we perform the automatic recode? Please go to the transform menu. In the transform menu, the seventh option from the top. You can see here, this is the seventh option from the top, automatic recode. Earlier, we had used recode into different variables. Before that, we had used recode into same variables. Now, I'm going to show you how to use automatic recode. This feature is very, very useful. It saves a lot of time and effort when you have a lot of values in the variable. Let me click on automatic recode. This will open up a new dialog box, which is called as the automatic recode dialog box. I have to select the name of the variable here. Let me select the variable gender and push it into the box to my right side. So gender is the variable which I have selected. The new variable name that I'll be giving is gender. I've already specified one, one. So I'll just say gender underscore automatic. Just to indicate that this is the outcome of automatic record option. You can now click on the add new name. You can see SPSS displays the original variable name as gender, the new variable name as gender automatic. Here you don't need to manually specify which value will be recoded as what. All that you need to do is specify the old variable name, create the new variable name and click on the OK button. You can see here, SPSS displays what is the coding that it has assigned under the automatic recode option. F has been coded as one. The value label for this is females. M, which was the old value, now has been coded as two. The value label for two is male. One advantage here is that you have the new value as well as the respective value label. To have a better perspective, let me go to SPSS. You can see here, this is the new variable that we have created gender underscore automatic. When you look at the icon next to gender underscore automatic, there are three circles indicating that this is a nominal variable. It is a numeric variable. Please observe, males have been recorded automatically as two by SPSS. The second value males again have been recorded as two. The third value F has been recorded as one here. You can for better clarity, if you want to display the value labels, please click on the value labels icon. You can see here, SPSS displays what is the label for each and every value. So this is how you can use the different forms of recode. In this video, we have seen how to use the recode button. There are three different approaches of using the recode button record into same value, second is record into different value, and the third option is automatic record. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we have seen elaborately the three approaches to recording in SPSS. I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. Have a great day ahead.